organisms get evolved from their ancestral organism. So, uh, so that were the classical method which was used for the uh, uh, for the uh, taxonomy of any organism. The second one here is the quantitative method. Okay, uh, because uh, the classical uh, the classical method were used when we have the fossil record, like in the case of the Archaeopteryx, it is a connecting link between the reptiles and the uh, birds and the reptiles, but if in case the uh, fossil fuel is not present, then what we can do? Uh, th then there are the number of the, uh, we can say the number of the branches of taxonomy are present if in the case of fossil records are not present. The first one is the numerical taxonomy. As the name suggests, it includes the numerical data for the quantification of the uh, morphological features. It is a computational approach and it uses the uh, various software for the for the relationship or for showing the relatedness between the different organisms. So it is based on the quantitative uh, quantitative uh, data. The second approach is the molecular taxonomy means the various uh, sequencing method like the DNA sequencing, RNA analysis and the protein electrophoresis. These three techniques used to give the genetic mapping of the particular organism and on the basis of that the organism are classifying on the basis of their relatedness. The third one is the cladistic or the phylogenetic means it is based on the share and the derived character which has been uh, shared either with the ancestor or it has been derived from the ancestor. So, on the basis of that, the cladistic or the phylogenetic method are, uh, are given. Okay. Then here comes the biostatistic. Biostatic, it uses the statistical approach to the biological data. And on the basis of that, the various population genetics and various organism genetics are then classified. The DNA barcoding here, only the specific genes of that particular means from the whole genome the specific gene can be uh, coded so it is a very fast and accurate method of the uh, classifying the organism or we can say the species so these are the quantitative method means where the quantity uh, where they are used or some quantifying method are being used for the classification or the uh, for the naming or the taxonomy of the organisms Now let's first discuss about the phenetics and the numerical taxonomy. So phenetics, we can say, or uh, numerical taxonomy, the phenetics as the name suggests, or it is somewhat related to the phenotype, means the taxonomy or it is a way of classifying the organism uh, based on the overall similarity. Means if um, some features are present, in two group of organism uh, or common features are present so uh, so the quantity of the common features among them relates or it gives the significance of their relatedness to each other or the closeness to each other so it is based on the overall similarity and it is a mathematical approach which we have already discussed so it used the cluster analysis uh, and uh, it is a computational approach and uh, it does not uh, distinguish between the homologous character and the analogous character. Now, what are these characters? The homologous character means these are the species or uh, these are the characters that are shared with the species with the common ancestor. Means some character which are shared with the common ancestor. Uh, for example, the four limb of vertebrate, we can say, okay, the wings of bird, and we can say the flippers of whale. Okay, so these are the species which uh, which is the character which is being shared by the different species and it has been derived from the common ancestor only but their function uh, is different in both of uh, in 
in uh, the different species but the analogous character are that which are similar in appearance as well as similar in function okay means uh, these are the character which are present in many species which are similar in the appearance as well as similar in the function for example in the case of the wings of bird as well as wings of bat okay so the wings is uh, basically used for the flight purposes so in both of these species the wing is used for the flight purposes that is why they are uh, similar in the function as well as in appearance they look like a, a similar uh, the similar uh, characteristic but they are evolved or they have been derived uh, from the different ancestor means they are not derived from the common ancestor the wings of the bird has been derived from the different uh, ancestor like that the wing of the bat has been derived from the different uh, ancestor so the numerical taxonomy does not distinguish between the homologous and the analogous character it just uh, give you the data on the basis of the uh, characteristic or the character state which is present in both the species for example uh, sup suppose uh, the two friends are uh, two friends are uh, there and both of them is having uh, one pencil and they do not have any the pet so if particular friend a and the b suppose they have the one pen both of them and they do not have the pencil okay so i have coded one for the presence of the pen and the zero for the uh, presence uh, for the absence of the pencil so in that case what happened this thing is common between them okay the pen is common because they do have uh, they uh, both have the pen one uh, and each in the uh, one quantity okay while they do not have the pencil this thing is also common because they do not have the pencil. So, this is a common features among them. So, on the basis of the overall similarity, we can say these two friends are the uh, best friend because they share the common features or they are very closely related uh, friend, we can say, because they share the common uh, similarity or common uh, similar characteristic with both of them so this is what the numerical taxonomy do the numerical taxonomy it gives you the data of the overall similarity and then we can uh, classify uh, this organism on the basis of the overall similarity that how the species or particular organism are closely related to the uh, another organism here the texa texa is a group of the organism or the group of the species it is generally known as a otu otu means operational taxonomic unit taxonomic unit okay and the whatever the data which comes out in the in the result of the overall similarity it can be drawn in the tree like structure which is known as the phenogram means on the basis of the phenotypic features which are the overall observable trait which we can see uh, which uh, which anyone can easily observe the phenotype characteristics so on the basis of that the overall similarity is drawn and from the overall similarity the phenogram that is a tree like structure which just uh, give you the information of the overall similarity or the closeness of the one group of organism to the another. So, uh, this is all about the numerical taxonomy and uh, we can say the phonetics taxonomy.